you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call me hey. Hey, hey, y'all know what this is. If you're a real ninja and you know it, hit the like button. If you want to be a real ninja, hit the subscribe button. Yes, sir. Show the algorithm you ain't no bigot. Show the algorithm you ain't no bigot. Get your EBT cards ready, baby. Take this damn mask off. Woo! We back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Ninjas and Nerds segment of the show. I am your host, Atreus. I apologize for yesterday. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I intended on making videos, but I had took a real quick little nap after I, I had got off. And before I knew it, I didn't wake up till like 6 o'clock. And I had to cook. Then I had to go to work. So it is what it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the news for today. Uh, guys, follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so the Golden Globes. Lord have mercy. Golden Globe viewership continues rapid decline. Lord have mercy. Tuesday's viewerships, 6.3 million, was the lowest since NBC started broadcasting the awards in 1996. Holy. Ho -ho. And I thought we were doing bad over at Disney. Look at all this diversity. Look at all the diversity. How's that going out for you? On one hand, the ratings were only marginally worse compared with the last telecast of the Golden Globes. On the other hand, viewership for the award show has officially collapsed from the highs of the past de de uh, decade. The Globes drew in an audience of 6.3 million on Tuesday night, only slightly fewer than the pared down ceremony of 2021 because of the pandemic, but down drastically from, from the 18 million who watched in 2020. Lord have mercy. How you lose how you lose 12 million people in 3 years? The last time the ceremony was uh, uh was in early January. Yeah. The Globes had uh plenty going against it. The entertainment industry turned its back on the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, the group that uh, uh organizes the Globes amid an ethics and diversity scandal that unfolded 2 years ago. NBC refused to broadcast last year's ceremony because of backlash after a series of reforms by the Press Association. Hollywood and NBC royally welcomed the show back, though the broadcast network agreed to only a one-year one year deal to air it. So you went and got woke, and now you're going broke. I mean, how many times do we got to say it? Uh, reviews for Tuesday's ceremony, which was hosted by Gerard Carmichael, who was garbage, <laughs> were mostly warm. Uh, Vulture called it great live TV. The New Yorker uh, praised it as fizzy and fun. Rise. From 2010 to 2010, the Globes reliably, reliably averaged 17 million to 20 million viewers, according to Nielsen. In 2019, the Globes were within 5 million viewers of the Academy Awards viewership totals, raising the possibility that it could soon become the most watched award show. Then the Globes was hit by a one-two punch, the pandemic, and its own scandal. Tuesday's viewership was the lowest since NBC started broadcasting the award show in 1996. And worse, the Globes now find itself in the same dreary ratings neighborhood as the Emmy Awards. Last year, only 5.9 million tuned in to watch the Emmys. It did not help that this year's Globe ceremony was on a Tuesday because the NFL added an additional week to its regular season in 2021. The Sunday time slot in early January that the Globes used to occupy now belongs to NBC Sunday Night Football. So this year's ceremony was tossed to a weekend to a weeknight when fewer viewers are watching television. It is unknown where the Globes. Hold on, hold on. I want to pull up. Well, let me finish this off. It is unknown where the Globes will air next year. NBC could very well walk away from the show, which it pays $60 million a year to air. It is also possible a streaming service like Amazon or Netflix, both of which are increasingly dabbling with live rights, could become in interested parties. Netflix announced on Wednesday that it would take over the broadcast rights for the Screen Actors Guild Awards next year, a ceremony that used the broadcast on TNT, and Amazon just completed its first year as the broadcasters of Thursday Night Football. Now, so, 
and then you got Gerard Carmichael rips the Golden Globe Globes uh, during open monologue. I'm here because I'm black. Yeah, I think in the return of the Golden Globes after a year long hiatus. Well, screw all that. I just want to get to his quote. I'm your host, Gerard Carmichael, and I'll tell you why I'm here. I'm here because I'm black. Carm Carmichael made no secret of his thought about the F the HFPA and did not mince words about the organization's past struggles with diversity. I won't say that they were a racist organ organization, but they didn't have a single black member until George Floyd died. Do with that what you will. You will never satisfy the Wokies. I'm going to say like DJ Academics say, if you so mad about not enough black people being at the Golden Globes or, or the Academy Awards or the Emmy, pick up a stick. How about you make a movie that has something to do with anything other than racism? Do that, nigga. Damn, I wasn't supposed to say that. The N word, I mean. And now you want to, oh, I'm only up here because I'm black. Well, duh. <laughs> you, you, that's a diversity and inclusion award. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. That thing down like you started a tantrum, my baby. You had some plans with your man, just tell him to cancel, my baby.